It just, it will make a lot of sense, yeah. I, I think having something appropriate to sell for the card that, that matches it in a way, like for example, if you Ruinade, it, it just looks different. It has a different animation. But like, for example, you have Fiora. Fiora is a card that will likely challenge and kill stuff frequently. If I had to guess. So why not give her like a special animation every time she challenges something or every time she kills something through challenge? Or a, a card like Gangplank. Give Gangplank like a different barrel that has like, you know, like give him the Lunar New Year Gangplank and the barrel explodes in firework instead. Stuff like that. Be nothing left when I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm just spinning suggestions. I'm mostly trying to say find something that actually matches the theme. And I think it would be very good. Explosives primed. Imagine a Mystic Shot animation that just automatically spams the XD emote when it kills. <laughs> like a macro to give a Lux thumbs up every time you Mystic Shot and kill something. <laughs> Time? Got a surprise for him. Okay, thank god. I was, I, was, I was worried that that wouldn't hit. How would they theme hey, treasures with me, though? So, if you want a real answer, I think treasures are too niche. I don't think they, they would sell cards that are niche and underplayed in normal decks already. They would basically be making that just for you. That would be a lot of effort for people to almost never engage with the actual concept, right? I think that's something they would have to keep in mind for treasures and other cards. But if, if they were to do that, if treasures were actually good, I don't know. Be anything really. Could be like extra money raining from the sky every time it happens. That's crazy. Wait. It's. Wait. What, what, what if I had Flock? Sunny is saying Legend isn't worth like, it. I like treasures. I do. Uh, I low key have been feeling like playing Mariah Great Mother, shuffling some treasures, drawing them. But yeah, the, it doesn't take away that they're, that they're kind of niche. No. -uh. Ingenious. No materials, no improvements. Lifesteal? Wait a second. Lifesteal is cheating. The crystal! Hey Sonny, I know this is kind of off topic, but do you have any tips for motivation such as being active or working on a draining task? Yeah, so I, I have that with editing sometimes where I get super drained on a project that I ultimately don't really feel like doing, I guess. Um, Best run while you can. What do I do to get through that? I, I, I imagine the finished product, but I don't know, that, that, that might be a little bit unfair to say, because when I'm working on like something that takes a lot of editing work, I can imagine the finished product and it being on YouTube, and that's really exciting. Will help. So that kind of motivates me in a way. My fine streamer, please could I ask you to glance your eyes to the software application commonly known as Discord so you can ponder a question I have asked you. Absolutely. Bro, Marshall, uh, stop, stop asking me stuff like that and then having me not be able to answer on stream. Can I read this out, Mar? Uh, I, I, you're, you're the expert. Can I read this out? I don't think I can. Can I read this out? No, I see. This is what I mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Just say yes or no. It depends on what time. It depends on what time. <laughs> Read it. Metal is perfection. I don't know what I can't or can say about it, but there is there is some sort of announcement yes, coming of re relatively soon. What the hell? That was actually such a high roll. Wait, I'm song spinner? Bro, he found the three best cards in the game. Prepare the cargo. Okay. 
I asked Sonny on a date and he left me unread. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make the announcement that we're going out on a date tonight, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're, we're gonna post our, our date plans to Twitter. Tonight. So that's why the stream is early today? Exactly, exactly. I told you guys I have plans tonight. Now you know. Dark in the skies! I'll yeah, bro, bro gets splashed by some water. Dark in the skies! <laughs> uh, tell him. Play Sonny? I never do. We must improve. We must evolve. I don't even know what misplaying is. The future is steel and science. Empire above all. Table slam. Hand will Noxus rise. We're kind of just like playing Memory units. Uh, we deal some damage, we play some monkeys, we play some barrels, and then we slam the desk with Swain and suddenly we're winning. Feels good, man. I think in terms of cards, I think in ther I think in terms of cards, Mr. Thrift might have dethroned Chip. That's too many like H's in that sentence after I think Thrift dethroned Chip. I can't read that, man. English is hard. Blaming? No, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> might, might also has the H. Yeah. What the hell? I can write it in Polish for you if that makes it. It probably would. Yeah, you can write it in Polish. Marshall all does an age way. You're right. God, man. Oh, yeah. You usually put Swain first. Whatever. They're, they don't have any blockers anyway. Until they pull out the mystical Mikael's blessing. I mean, you're, you're dead, man. Come on now. Right? Right? <laughs> what the hell? Wow, just PNZ things, dude. Oh my god. You're joking. I mean, this monkey kills them. What is bro doing? Bro thinks he's Seraphine. They don't break. All right, come on now. This time for sure, right? There we go. <laughs> got to do you got to do. I can't even blame them. Did you? For me. After all the Morgana Galio, I'll be impressed if it wasn't in the back foot. Yeah, I mean, it happens with any game, right? After a little while... What the hell is this, man? After a little while of being in the same meta, like, general interest just always goes down a little bit. It was interesting seeing how Grappler, you and me, played differently to deck. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I mostly went for the, uh, for the Terrage, because it, it, it looked like the most consistent win con to me. But I guess it also depends, like, I feel like I drew the landmark very often in the games I played. Every the altar to blood thing. If you consider doing some flashback decks, playing decks that you built that got you to successful young man that you are now, I have, I have, but most of those are already turtle. 
Mo most of those are in Eternal, and I try to save that for Eternal Season. Like, almost every Eternal Season, I'll play Time Bomb Printer, I'll play, um... I'll, I'll play Invoke. Which is something I want to talk about later, by the way, because I was losing my mind when I kept thinking about how they nerfed the Cosmic Call card. It's called Cosmic Call, I think. The, the the one you can play for two mana or for eight mana. It's Cosmic Call, right? I'm really frustrated by how they nerfed that card. Good. Cosmic Ball? Yep, Cosmic Ball. Because every time I play Targon, I'm Cosmic Bowling! Yeah! <laughs> Which jam would you want to get added in the game? Fiddlesticks. Got a surprise for him. Calm down. Thoughts on Clef coming to Rune Terra? Yeah, so Clef is a great singer. It'd be awesome to see him come to Rune Terra. Respect for streamers. I know the correct play. I played 200 matches. I shouldn't expect a streamer to make perfect plays first time playing it. I, uh, if I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I, um, it, it's really funny because I would say that generally I'm not great at like optimizing the way that you're supposed to use removal in Shadow Isle, especially if you have like an abundance of it, right? Um, but when I play a Riven deck for the first time, for example, I would say that I'm like, I'm close to understanding, like, the best lines you can possibly take. Like, I did that with the Riven Pantheon deck, and I, th I think I played that extremely well. Uh, which was also just, like, an offline session. I practiced for, like, two games. I was like, yeah, you know, I can I can, I can, can take this to ranked and upload a video off of it. I tried to do the same thing. Like, I practiced your Akshan Mordekaiser list a little bit. I'm like, yeah, this is just something I don't play very often. I'm the kind of YouTuber that plays a new deck every single day. I'm just going to try to make the most out of it, you know? And sometimes that goes well, and sometimes that uh, doesn't go as well. You've talked about it a little bit before, but what region do you think Fiddle would be? Oh, that's awesome. A clue. Fiddle would probably be Rune Terran, if I had to guess. Oh, wait, no, that was a misplay. Oh, no, I should have played Gangplank. Oh, I derped. I derped. I was like, I gotta get, um, I gotta get him leveled. But I could have played Gangplank here and then Fire Spitter next turn. Oh, that's so oh. stupid, actually. It's a dumb misplay. Wow. Yeah, I could have a level had a level Gangplank. I uh, I messed that up. I can do this, and I can't even attack with this most likely because they have freezes. <laughs> Nap first or fish? What do you think, Jelly? <gasps> I gotta try anyway. You'll regret when I lift this. Are the winter's claw? Okay. Don't think I know that. Can level him for powder? No, that's not how it works. Because uh, I want to level Gangplank when he's sitting back. I don't want to go into combat and then level Gangplank. I wanted to basically have Gangplank, level him before the attack, so I could deal two to everything. And I could have done that by playing Gangplank on the defending turn, and then use the Enrage Fire Spitter here, which also deals two to the Nexus, and Gangplank would have been leveled. Why not just kill the 0-3 and chill? Even a non-elusive is hardly scary. Because they just showed me that they have a card that gives elusive. And I, uh, I like forcing cards out of them. I like forcing them to use cards. Yeah, the barrels are spooky, too. <laughs> Lifesteal and Fearsome are the most fitting keywords for Fiddle, I guess. I don't know if I agree with Lifesteal, but Fearsome, definitely. I, uh, I personally see an effect like Drain as something completely different than something like um, Lifesteal. Empire, That's why I think Kane is so thematic, because Kane drains two and heals himself for two if he kills the target. Well, he doesn't really drain, but if he kills something, he heals himself for two. I think that is more thematic than just slapping life on something like Vladimir or Fiddlesticks. Sway just stunned this! 
guys. Oh, okay. Goodbye. All right. That's a good way to win. They just didn't feel like winning anymore. <laughs> what? It's killed their own dude. It's a self Oh, they have to uh, entomb this? Okay, okay. Uh, still dead though. <laughs> Why would they do that? I mean, this is basically an elusive deck, make no mistake. <laughs> Dude. Isn't Freeze better? Uh, no, because when... Um... Oh, actually, is Freeze better? Yeah, maybe Freeze was fine. Freeze would have been fine, too. I think it was for next turn, in case I had, like, a stun. In case I had a way to hit their Nexus and stun them again, I guess. If they if they want to spend their mana and two was fine. Depends on what their hand is. Is this Poros? Whenever I see this, I think it's Poros. Alright. It is Poros. I don't know if that's a BM Braum wave. I'll uh, I'll assume it's not. I'll assume it's a friendly Braum wave. If it's Boris, he's based. Yeah, if you say so. I'll buy some time. Yeah, it's probably Iceborne Poros. This is a uh, Loki. Uh, most of you might not have been here for that, but this is a uh, this is Loki, a pretty degenerate deck. Is that this guy's elusive support deck? It might be. It, it might very well be. Yeah, they could have Ingvar. Ingvar is really good here. A wrong wave that. Okay, alright, yeah. That was, that was like all the elusive they had. They played two normally and one from the Poro Cannon? That was it. Oh my god, triple Battle Fury? Yeah, I mean, this list has to be pretty strong. What the hell is Shatter doing here, though? I quit Hearthstone for this game, obviously, when it came out. But I spent way too much money on Hearthstone, too. So it's, it's like crazy that I probably spent more money on Hearthstone in a single expansion than I would for like an entire year of Rune Terra. Like, obviously, this is my job, so I try to spend money on, like, cosmetics and stuff when they come out. But, yeah, they, they don't come out very often. And when they do, it's like, oh, you can buy two things, and then you're done. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a rune terror whale, dude. Could you imagine being a whale for any... Could you imagine if they had the same amount of skins as, like, League of Legends did? I spend way too much money on League of Legends as well. Because there's actual, like, stuff you can spend money on. There just isn't any here. Is the game a time sink though, or is it casual, free to play? Yeah, I, I do have a guide on my YouTube, a full beginner guide. Um, I don't know if you've heard of games like Slay the Spire, Monster Train, stuff like that. We have a mode that is pretty similar to that as well. It's a little bit slower paced, but it, the idea is essentially the same. And it's PvE, you get to unlock cards really fast through that as well. Does buying skins in this game count as a write-off for you? Yes, it does. Course. Like I, I literally like like I think it's that like that for literally any League of Legends streamer as well. They buy a new skin for their champion. Yeah, tax write off. Took the bait. Well, why are you asking me questions like that on stream, man? <laughs> what the hell? I'm through waiting. Timing is. Right, this seems like a solid play. We kill both their units. We get plus one on gangplank. The only experience I have with card games is Adventure Time card game. I don't think I've ever played that. Is that a real thing? Just roll for TFT cheapest to make up for it? I... Okay. I don't know how lucky this is, but my friends told me it was pretty lucky. I... Play... I forgot which set this was. It might honestly be like the Dragon set or something. I think I got like an egg or something twice. I forgot what it was exactly. And I got this board that's like a pool. No, it wasn't a pool. It's um. It was, a, it was a board with a dragon. There was like a big pink dragon around the board. Apparently that, that was like a, 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 a low chance to get that.
Only thing that's better IRL is popping a pack of cards. It smells so good. I've been a little bit addicted to Lorcana la uh, lately. The new Disney card game. <laughs> I need to learn to properly play it. I need to build my first deck. I just, I just love collecting the cards. You know, building for whatever might come in the future. There are any tournaments in the area or something. Disney card game? Yeah, Lorcana. Uh, I, I even... I got some of them in my top load is right here. Alright. Uh, here, like this one. I got a, I got a full R2. Yeah, hold on, man. I'm being Heimer emoted. It's kind of sick. Oh, here's Hades. Swain is leveled. I should probably play this. Victory but can I ruinate Mickey Mouse? If you try hard enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. The few for the many. Hey, new to this game. Do you have to spend a lot of money to get far in this game? No, you don't. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Oh, there's seven sevens now, right? <laughs> Um, why not Mickey? I think I opened one Mickey. He's, I, th I think there's one Mickey. That's pretty good. Some of those cards kind of sick. Yeah, they are. They absolutely are. The, the, the art quality is, is super high. It's like impossible to actually get the cards though. They're sold out everywhere. Bleed for Noxus. Oh, what a draw. What is this? <laughs> this is the same as uh, this is the Poro player. The Poro player was like, wow, they're beating my Poros with one damage pinks. <laughs> let, me, let me quickly make five fives instead of one ones. Yeah, suck it. No mercy. Sunken Temple isn't targeting the curse. Yeah, you can't. If you have a curse in hand, you can't actually target it with like a discard or a updraft. You just can't click on the card. But Augmented Experimenter as well as Sunken Temple don't actually click on the card. It just happens. There's just something that happens to your hand. And the curse is in your hand. Such little you. lies. Almost lost to that, man. Because they're giving elusive to their yetis. I am sad you didn't play for the Bomba. Yeah, I didn't want to get frozen or like randomly lose for no reason. Way. You said it's really good. What makes it good? Not really. It's really fun, but the metas are kind of degen. So if I were to play, I'd probably like right now I think I'd peak like diamond. If I if I look at like my, my recent sets. Is that is that when I like am gonna start having a bad time? I think I have to keep this right way. Emerald, probably. As in, at Emerald, it starts getting degen. That, that, that's usually where, uh, like, the line between casual and tryhard kind of starts to fade a little bit. And it's just all tryhards. What makes it really good, in my opinion, is how I can play Bard and the Jazz Comp, and I live for the Jazz Comp. Explosive. I, uh, is that the infinite dude from Bart? Everything behind ya. Damn it. Please take part in the box box tourney when the new set goes live. I tried to do that during the... I think it was Runeterra Reforged. And I had issues with my Streamlabs, where every time I played League or TFT, my Streamlabs would crash. And also, I had to make an NA account for it, which I didn't really like. What wondrous discoveries await below? 
So I, I played it out as much as I could and then didn't apply again for the next time he did it. Sonny can use my NA account. I appreciate it, but if, if it's like an official right thing or backed by right, I don't think I could do that. Or in general, actually in general, uh, in game, don't, don't do that. Don't ever do it. Don't account share, guys. Account sharing is bad. It's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Last time I played TFT was in 2020. When did TFT come out? 2019, right? I mean, this is set 9 or 10? Okay. I'll make corpses of a ball. What happens that I came to your house and started a game on my account and left to grab a ring and you had to play for me so I won't lose OP? Yeah, the bannable. Bannable offense. I'm sorry, you're going to jail. Next thing I know, that, that, that's I'm just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Nothing that? nobody can do about it. You got legs. Use them. Do it there. Why not the barrel? Yeah, the barrel explodes, so even if it shows that it's four, it's actually three. Because you kill the barrel and then the damage happens. Oh? No answer? Big? Yeah, so this is a make a rain. Make a rain into hit for five. I have to. Like, I have to start pushing damage now. Oh, come on. They're gonna make my dread weigh 10 mana. Yeah, okay. All right. I could have played this next turn. If I played, if I had dread weigh on board with Levy, it would be four damage to their nexus at every round start. Artillery barrage. Okay, so we have a leveled Gangplank, leveled Swain. Which one is better? I mean, do we just win? Oh. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Victory awaits. We just win. My hand, I feel like I never beat general. these decks. Never. I mean, I haven't won yet. Let me. Let me. Let's not talk too soon. I guess. So you're stunned. Dark in the skies. Be back. What's the gameplay difference between elusive versus sunny plays cards that damage the nexus directly? When you play a card that damages the nexus directly, you can't use that card to also block with, or it's not something that will also deal damage two turns later. It's it's pretty simple when you think about it. Um, because I can play an elusive on turn one, and then it'll probably still deal, deal damage turn three as well. That's 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 the main thing. That would be the main thing. They can also be used to block in a pinch. Was that wrong, actually? Oh, no, I'm just good. I'm just better. 
Now, I, I, I just thought that lethal. We could have actually lost here, by the way, if they also played Ezreal. Don't have to be sharp to make a point. Ah, yeah, it's 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 never guiding touch or something, so that's that's good. Yeah, GG. GG. I will break them. Ah, make damage or block with damage. Isn't elusive not My the same? And only one okay, I thought you were kind of memeing, but I'm starting to feel like you're actually an elusive apologist. Are you sure? Is it? Is this? Is this the angle, Gurren fanboy? Okay, listen. If I use that, if I use a card, a spell to deal damage, it's a one-time thing. I deal damage once. There are exceptions like um, the Legion Saboteur, which is a two-one, you know, but that's easily to be to be blocked. Uh, which is something you can do for something like a uh, like like a Daring Poro or a uh, the, the Acorn Acorn thing, the other one, one Zoe Timo stuff like that. And, and Fervor is like, oh, you deal three damage once. Bro, it's called shame meta abuser. Okay, I mean, I guess maybe it's not that meta anymore. What about that noxious spell that comes back to hand, though? Oh, the Samira spell? <laughs> uh, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I mean, that that would that that is basically like a, a plus one attack to elusives. Yeah. I think I played it and refunded it. I, th I don't know why. I couldn't get into it. Behind North Guard looked like a pretty good game, but um, after playing for like an hour, I, I wasn't getting into it, and I felt like I needed to invest like at least 10 or 20 more hours to really get the full picture. So instead, I refunded it. Took the easy way out. Them good. Got us a boom. <laughs> there goes the barrel. They ramped into Balin? Hold on. Uh, double Balin. If barrels didn't have vulnerable, would they be broken? I don't know if they'd be broken. Alright, so um, this Swain card is pretty interesting here, because Swain <laughs> has Fearsome. It's not leveled though. Everything's in place. This'll set behind ya. I don't know. I, like, if barrels didn't have vulnerable like three years ago, they would probably be broken. But right now, I don't really know. I think it'd be just fine. Oh, Marshall. Yeah, the game, the game's looking great. It's looking pretty good. I've been just fine. What about you? How is the food? They're passing here. Nah, Chief. What was Young Sonny like? Were you a troublemaker in school or a serious student? Or a studious student? Uh, I don't know. Neither, I guess. I guess in my early years, more of a troublemaker and then... As life went on, I guess more of a um, serious student. So we had a development arc where he became serious. I mean, I don't want to say I was a loner, but generally, I, I kind of kept to myself. Like, like, <laughs> like, like most of us. I'm pretty sure if you're here watching a stream on Twitch. Um. But yeah, I, I mostly just played, uh, I got into online games at a pretty young age, I guess. Do you have friends IRL? I, I do have friends IRL, yeah. One of my uh, best friends moved to Japan last year, though. So it's, it's been a little lonelier. You exist a IRL? Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually just an AI. It might look like it. 
I guess I don't know if I play this, I just die. Destination in sight. Online games foster community, like the community you have for, from LOR and Discord too. Yeah, yeah, no, very true, very true. I, um... Um... I played a lot of Mario Kart. Which is where uh, I, I first got to really foster and engage in a in a community online. And that, that left a, a lifelong impact on me for sure. I think that's when I got really addicted, I want to say, or invested in competitive games. And also just like having a community and working together as a community. I thought it was just one of those AI boyfriend abs. I mean, nobody, nobody's saying I'm not. Maybe, maybe that is just all I am. You, you'll, you'll never know, Marshall. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> they missed their turn one? It's Jover. Actually, Remember the Lurk Law states that if you miss Lurk on turn one, you hit like at least three Rek'Sai to make up for it. So I don't know, maybe it's not over, over. Rek'Sai? It's not Rek'Sai. Strike at their foundations! I'm taking our boyfriend on a date later. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring him back home before 10. Yeah, thank you, Marshall. He's 5 euros. Don't bring him back. <laughs> wow. Your path ends here. All right, that, that, that's got to be the, the pike, right? Probably found pike. Duty. Be nothing left when I'm done. Got a surprise for him. Alright, pike me. Pike me. I knew you wanted to pike me! You fool! I still have my barrel primed. Boom. Yeah, and I still got my Nexus hit too. <laughs> XD them? No, I, I can't XD them. It, it, it's lurk. We're, we're, as soon as I XD, we lose. It's it's Lurk Law. That's just how it goes. Okay, do you, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say they are stupid and they will pull the barrel here, okay? It, like I could play Swain, but they pick pretty fast, so it could be a Rek'Sai. If I play Swain and I only get plus one, it's good. But if it's Rek'Sai, it's really bad. But if I play Gangplank, they might pull the barrel because they're Lurk. I'm not harpooning this. Loyalty through conquest. I'll make the slightly risky play. Ah, it's Rek'Sai. It's not Rek'Sai. Discipline. Is it? Is it another Pike? No way. Leave them nothing. Oh my God! Bro is gifted. Okay, but that's that's kind of insane. That's kind of nuts, actually. I would I would have dealt six damage to them with that swing hit. Yeah, we have to play for the gangplank. So I'm just doing this, and then we'll make a rain next turn to level gangplank. That's also pretty good. Watch them have Pike Bonesker in him. Oh my god! What? Yo, Solid's Ground, stop! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god. Nah, dude. Why are they at the. Ah, they missed Lurk. They Wait, if that Pike hit, they would have had another Pike spell. Build 
water is mine and mine alone. How do I beat Viego and Path of Champions? I've gone against him four times now with a level 16 plus Elder Dragon and lose every time at Viego constantly all four times with revives. He has a turn three ruination and five plus kill spells every time I drop something. Yeah, Viego kind of does that. Um, I, I guess try to only have one threat on the board at a time. It's easier said than done, I know, but that way you beat ruination and that way you can just like have a unit, wait for them to play. A removal spell, and then you play your second threat. I'll show him pain. Hit them all. Okay, so this is lethal because we get a barrel from Gangplank next turn, and then this is three. I'll try that. Love your videos. Hey, I appreciate the support. Yeah, just uh, give it a shot. Let me know if it works out. Is this bug fixed? I don't know if the bug is fixed. I think it was fixed. Explosion. There used to be a bug where if you play this when the opponent has no uh, no units, the spell doesn't work or the skill doesn't go in the stack. Yeah. We'll get with the gangplank effect, sure. Did you? I won't stop coming for those who wronged me. Hello to myself on YouTube. Have a good meal, buddy. Yeah, you too. Have a good meal, YouTube. I know you're all watching this while you're eating your food. Hey, you know what? I'm here for you. But, but please let me know what you're eating.